Hi everyone, I am trying this today for the first time on my phone instead of my webcam because I'm hoping to get some better um, video quality. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, um, didn't mean to sneeze right then. So we're on lesson 28 in foundational skills and that is the ow sound. Ow. It's like the sound <laughs> whenever you get hurt. You stub your toe and you want to go, ow. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. We are getting that sound in two different ways with O, W, and also O, U. Okay. So O, W, and O, U make the ow, ow, ow sound. Let's look at our spelling words together. <sighs> ow, s, house. Okay? If you have a tablet, I would recommend that you go get your tablet and a pencil and write all of these down as we go over them. You can always pause the video and press play when you're ready to move on. It's great to write these down and write them in some sentences. See if you can make some sight and spelling word sentences after the video is finished. Okay, next one is grr, ound, ground, mmm. Mouth, mouth, out, er, outer, okay? Outer means the edge or outside of something. Found, found, cool, out, e, cloudy. What letter is making the e sound? Y, right? Y is a very tricky letter. What other vowel sound does Y make? I, so it can make the E or the I sound. Okay, next one. P. Ound. Pound. K. Ound. Count. Let's read them all together. House. Ground. Mouth. Outer, found, cloudy, pound, count. Great job. Okay, I'm going to spell one really quickly. Can you shout out which word I'm spelling? M-O-U-T-H. Mouth, C-L-O-U-D-Y. Cloudy. P-O-U-N-D, pound, H-O-U-S-E, house, G-R-O-U-N-D, ground, high five, high five, high five, great job. Okay, let's look at our sight words for the week. Remember, sight words, we just need to memorize how they're spelled um, because they don't always follow the sound letter rules, okay? Happened, let's spell it. H-A-P-P-E-N-E-D. What happened yesterday? Happened. Feel free to be writing these down. Pause the video, write them down, turn them into sentences. Loved, let's spell it. L-O-V-E-D. Loved. Sorry, S-O-R-R-Y. Sorry, I'm sorry. Valuable, V-A-L-U-A-B-L-E. Valuable. Now, when something is valuable, that means it's worth a lot. Sometimes that means it can be expensive or it can mean that something's really precious to you. So, like, you guys are very valuable to me. Not because you're expensive and I bought you at a store, but because you mean a lot to me. You are very valuable. Okay. Then, overjoyed. O V E R J O Y E D. Overjoyed. What is it? I was overjoyed to see some of my students when I dropped off your workbooks. Overjoyed. A synonym for overjoyed could be really excited, ecstatic. While, a time word, W-H-I-L-E. While. Task, T 
T-A-S-K. Task. A task is a job or something that you need to get done. Okay. Content. C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E Content. Great job. Let's read them together from the top to the bottom. This is a good time to pause the video and write them. Then press play when you're ready to read them with me. Here we go. Happened. Loved. Sorry. Valuable. Overjoyed. While. Task. Content. Excellent. Can you use each one of those words in a sentence? I bet you can. Okay. We're also working on possessive nouns. Possessive nouns. Nouns. Person, place, thing, animal, or idea. Possessive. That means they have something. They own it. They show ownership over something. Okay. How do we show a possessive noun? We use an apostrophe. That's the little mark that's up top. Remember, down below is called a comma. Up top, it's an apostrophe. We use an apostrophe plus an S to show ownership over something. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so for example, this is a house. In this sentence, nobody has anything. We're not showing ownership. Look at this next sentence, though. This is Ava apostrophe S, Ava's house. Whose house is it? Ava's. What does Ava have? A house. Okay, let's see if I can move this phone and switch gears. Do -do -do. Here comes my handy dandy whiteboard. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Does that work? <laughs> Okay, you can see my little ring from my light here to make me light up some more. Let's read this together. I went to Jennifer's house. Okay, in this sentence, are we showing ownership of anything? Yeah, who has something? Jennifer. What does Jennifer have? She has a house. What can we do to Jennifer's name to show that that house belongs to her? It needs to have an apostrophe S. Great job. Next sentence. The dog's bone was in the backyard. Okay, do we have anybody in this sentence that has something? That they own something, something belongs to them? Good, the dog. What does the dog have? He has a bone. The dog has a bone. The bone belongs to the dog. So what should dogs look like? Apostrophe S, D-O-G apostrophe S. Great job. Last sentence. I prefer Chick-fil-A's nuggets. I prefer Chick-fil-A's nuggets. Who has something? Do I have something in this sentence? No, I'm just saying I prefer or like something better. Who has something? Chick-fil-A has something. What does Chick-fil-A have? Has nuggets, okay? The nuggets belong to Chick-fil-A. So what should Chick-fil-A's add in that word to make it a possessive noun? An apostrophe. I prefer Chick-fil-A apostrophe S yes, nuggets. I prefer Chick-fil-A's nuggets. These are possessive nouns. We use an apostrophe plus an S to show that the noun owns something. It has something. Okay. Let's play a mix-up game. A scramble, unscramble with our words. Okay. Wow. This lighting and camera quality is so much better, but now I'm afraid you can see how many chins I have. Uh-oh. So these words are mixed up. These are our sight and spelling words. When I hold it up, I'm going to give you a couple seconds to unscramble the words in your mind, and then you're going to go ahead and shout out what sight or spelling word it is. Ready? Happened. Do you remember this game? Sorry. Now, 
if you wrote these down on your tablet, you could be looking at them very quickly or you could be looking at the poster behind me. Make sure I have this upside down. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Pound. Cloudy. Found. Are you getting these correct before I show you? Overjoyed. Task. While. Let's do two more. Mouth. Last one. Ground. Great job. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson introducing the sight, spelling words, and us reviewing possessive nouns with each other. Okay, go write some sight word sentences, some spelling word sentences, and write some sentences using possessive nouns. Love you. Bye.